Okay, you ready? Say, what are the parts of a story? What are the parts of a story? Thank you for asking. Go like this. Go, story opening. Story opening. Then, actions, actions, actions. Actions, actions, actions. Where you do, say, or think. Ooh, see if you can do that one. Where you do, say, or think. Until the story's done. Until what? Until the story's done. Let's do it again. One more time. Ready, set, go. Story opening, then actions, 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 where you do, say, or think. So watch what I mean. Do. Oops. This is fetter. <laughs> say, like you're talking, or think. Love it. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Go. Story opening, then actions, 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 where you do, say, or think. Until the story's done. Okay, are you ready? Show me you know it. Go. Story opening. Stop. I didn't even say anything. You're like, story opening? Like it's no big deal. Stop being so <laughs> smart. All right, do it again. Ready? Go. Story opening. Love it. Okay, guys. Can I just point something out? I'm going to give you something that we call feedback. Whenever you're teaching, you always watch and see how well you're doing. I work with a lot of high school kids. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let me tell you something. You are looking just like that. I see people sitting up in their seat. I see people learning as fast as a snap, right away participating. I'm going to now add one more thing because this is what I would always do at the high school level. Are we ready? Okay. I'm going to do this with you two. I want you two to show everyone. This is called need and need practice. So you're doing, going to do buddy talk. So you're just kind of, you want to keep your chairs exactly the same way so that you can quickly write and then do buddy talk whenever I say that. Okay? So first of all, everybody is going to have a buddy. Don't look at the person next to you yet. I'm going to tell you who your buddy is. Right away, when I'm in high school and I say, you two are buddies, this is what high school kids do. They do a thumbs up and they smile. Really quickly, you two are buddies. Go. Just like that. <laughs> now, I'm going to say, turn to your buddy and tell them what are the parts of a story. Watch as they do this. You're going to do this in a minute, but you want to see what it looks like in high school. Okay? Tell the parts of the story. Go. Opening. Opening. Story. Oh, both of you together. Ready? Go. Story. Opening. Then. Oh, do you guys want to do the motions with them while they're doing yeah. it? Okay, ready? Get your hands ready. Go. Story opening. Then actions, 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 where you do, say, or think, and then the story is done. Did they get it? Yeah. Two hands out. Let's give them a ooh. Ready, guys? Go. Ooh. Show off. All right. Are you ready? You two are partners. When I say who your partner is, right away, look at the two thumbs getting ready. Turn to your buddy. Two thumbs. Two thumbs. Smile. Two thumbs. Ready? You two are partners. You two are partners. You two are partners. Oh my goodness. You two are partners. I need... This is tough. You three are partners. Ready? You're going to stay still. You're going to kind of stand over here. Let's have you move a little bit just like that. Okay? Give a thumbs up and smile to your partner. You two are partners. You two are partners. So make sure you don't miss me. Ready? Turn your back. Need a knee. Thumbs up. Smile. There we go. All right, my friends. Ready? Tell your buddy the parts of a story. Get your hands ready. Go. Story opening. Where are you? Say. See. Until the story. Wow, okay, I'm giving my mean teacher a look. That was way too fast. Show off around there. All right, my friends, do you notice you have an organizer in front of you? This right here, please put your line paper to the side, put your blank paper right here in front of you, sit up nice and tall, and put your pencil in your hand. We are now going to do a lesson to learn how to write a narrative. Now, when I'm in high school, I need to make sure if my back is to the board, can you turn your chair a little bit to make sure that you can see the board? You bet. High school kids, do they ever put their pencil down? Say no. 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 Grab that pencil. Keep it in your hand. No. Do they? So grab that pencil. See how the pencil's in your hand? See how your pencil's in your hand? See how it's in your hand? There it is. It's in your hand. <laughs> now, what we're going to do is we are going to take notes as fast as a high school kid. We're not going to go slowly. So when we take notes, I'm going to see if you can keep up with me. Are we ready? No. no. Say yes. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? We're going to do this. 
Here's the line. Here's your paper. It's going to look just like yours. Everyone go like this. Say, step one. Step, step one. one. All right. Do you see how I had it folded there? No. On your paper, yeah. see how I folded your paper right here? Yeah. And then you have that fold. Touch the fold. You are now going to take your pencil and you are going to just make a line across the fold quickly, just like that. <clears throat> That's what I'm looking for. People who did it really quickly. So see the line right there? Make a line right across on that fold. There we go. Line right across the fold. Ready to go. Are you ready, my friends? So then what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. Put your line right in. There you go, my friend. Okay. Okay, here we go, my friends. Eyes up here. Wait a minute. What are we planning here? The story. Excellent. What's going to be up here? The story. Story. Opening. Okay, put your hands together. and everyone. Do you ever notice when you go to start a story? It's like, well, wait a minute. How do I start it? Put your hands like this and go, secret formula time. <laughs> We're going to have a secret formula to do this. Put your finger up here, touch the top of your paper. You're only going to make a small little letter here. You're going to do a secret formula. So we're going to put an S. Look how quickly people are doing that. That's what I'm looking for, fast, quick people. S. In the middle, you're going to put a C. And then after that, you're going to put an arrow. And I'm looking for people who are showing me high school kids. Your eyes are up here. You're ready to go. Turn to the person next to you, your buddy. Tell them what the secret formula is. It S C arrow. What's the secret formula? S C arrow. Look at me, friends, and say, what does that mean? What, what does that mean? mean? All right. Look, point to the S and say, S is for setting. What is S for? Setting. Say setting. Setting. Point to your wrist and say, setting tells me. When, like you're looking at a watch, say when, when, and where. Where. Okay. Everyone point to the C and say character. Character. So who's in the story? Who's in the story? Who's doing the action? Who's doing the action? Go to the arrow and go action. Action. Okay, now we're going to go back to the setting. Do you happen to have sticks with the kids' names on it? No, yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's look over here. Tell me, everyone go like this, say character. Character. We're always going to plan our character. Say, who's in our story? Who's in our story? A person or an animal? A person or an animal. Turn to your buddy and tell them who you want to have in the story. Go, person or an animal. Ooh, everybody stop, turn around. I'm walking around and listening for ideas. I heard someone say a lion. We're writing the same story today. Everyone say, we're writing the same story, so we learn the steps. What? We're writing the same story, so we learn the steps. Touch underneath the seat. Look how everybody has the seat, has their finger right there. Now we're going to draw, we can write line or draw a quick line. If you were in high school and you make a quick drawing, is it supposed to be an art project? Say, how embarrassing. How embarrassing. No, we're doing a quick, a quick, quick sketch. Let's put a circle and let's just do this for a lion. We're done. There's our lion. Wow, people are already finished. I love this group. All right, my friends, everyone go like this. Say, what kind of lion is it? What kind of lion is it? So now we want to what see kind of the personality of this lion. Is he going to be serious? Is he mean? Is he going to be silly? Turn to your buddy and tell your buddy. Go. All right, my friends, what did you say? What kind of lion is it going to be? Silly lion. Okay, let's go over here. And let's label our lion silly. Ready, everyone? Just label it really silly. Label it silly really quickly. Write silly. You know what I love about this group? You are writing those words down quickly, and you're already done. I love how quickly you do this. All right. Now let's go over to the setting. Everyone, touch where setting is. Setting. Setting. Everyone go like this. Say when and where. When and where. So when is this going to happen? And look how everybody's just watching right now. Love it. When is this going to happen? Is it going to happen? Now, when I say when, we could have weather. Like it could be rainy, it could be sunny, it could be windy. Remember, he's silly. We want something silly to happen. 
So what kind of weather would it be? Would it be daytime, nighttime? Tell the person next to you where something silly could happen. Go. All right, my friends. What kind of weather do you want? Say it again. Raining food. Raining. Raining. <laughs> I think we need two hands out. Let's go ahead and let's give a ooh. ooh. What a rainy day. We're going to put a rainy day, and then when we do the action, we're going to put the food coming down. We're okay with that. Everyone look at our friend and say, brilliant. Brilliant. Okay, let's go over here to the setting. Let's put a cloud and just put rain. This is so funny. Love this story. <laughs> now I need room because my setting tells me, all eyes up here, setting tells me what everybody? When and where. where. Yes, when and where. So when we have the when, rainy day, what else do I need here? A? When and? Where. where. So I need another picture. I need my where. Where is this happening? Are we going to have it in the mountains, in the jungle? Are we going to have it at a, I don't know, where, where are they going to be? Tell the person at your, at your table. Tell your buddy. Go. Stop, everybody. We've got city. Everyone say, good idea. Good idea. Okay. Put your city there, like little city, city buildings, really quickly. Okay, now let's practice our story. All right? Put your clouds up. Let's practice saying it. Here we go. On a rainy day. Ready? Go. On a rainy day. And then why don't we do this for the city, like the building, say. Out in the city. Ready? Go. On a rainy day. Out in the city. All right, now, who are we talking about? Lion. Okay, ready? Go. How could I do a motion for lion? Just show me. Oh. All right, here we go. Ready, go. A silly lion. Okay, everyone go like this. Go, action. Action. What was the silly lion doing? What was happening to the silly lion? What happened? Food was what? Raining. Food. Was it raining what? So when it's raining food, how does the lion know it's raining food? Do you just want him to see the food fall on the ground or maybe plop on his head? What do you want? Oh, okay, okay. What kind of food do you want to plop on his head? Uh, <laughs> Everyone go. You are a really good writer. Everyone say, great writing. Great, great writing. writing. Okay, guys, let's make the hamburger really quickly. Like an arrow coming down and a hamburger plopped on his head. I'll just write head. That's my hamburger. Do I care about it being absolutely perfect for a picture? No. no. That's embarrassing. This is not an art class. We are just writing quickly. Because everyone go like this, say, those are our ideas. Those are our ideas. Yeah, and some people around here are giving us some really good ideas, huh? <laughs> All right, my friends, let's go back and let's read our entire sentence. Hands in the air, go. On a rainy day out in the city, a silly lion. What happened? So what was really doing the action? Was it the lion or the hamburger? The hamburger. So let's say a hamburger what? Hit a lion. Okay, let's say the whole thing now. So look what we did. We put our ideas up there, and then we started talking, and we made our sentence. Let's do it again. Hands in the air. Go. On a rainy day, deep in the city. Hamburger. What did it do? Drop from the sky and landed on uh, on whose head? A silly lion's head. Okay, let's say the whole thing. Look what you're doing. This is what good writers do. Everyone, two hands to the back of your head and go. Good writing. All right, back to me. Grab that pencil, put it in your hand. Let's say it one more time. Go. On a rainy day, out in the city, hamburger. Who said plot? I did. <laughs> Love it. Everyone go, awesome. awesome. Do you want to say landed or plot? Which one makes you see it? Let's say it again. Ready? Do you see what we're doing? We're creating a sentence and we keep adding to it. Go. On a rainy day, out in the city. Hamburger, plopped on a silly lion's head. Turn to your buddy and say the story. Say the sentence so far. Go. 
right away, I showed you how high school kids do it. Right away, you're acting it out and you're saying it quickly. Love it. And I love how you two lean in and talk to each other. Go. Okay, before I go any further, when you write and you add, let's go ahead and see if we can add some, everyone go like this, fancy words. Fancy so if I put salt on my food, does it make it bland or spicy? spicy? So let's add a little spice to our writing. When I go over here, I'm going to look at the pictures to figure out what's the most important thing. Because when you add describing words, it should be to what is important. Everyone look at me and go, we know that. We know that. Okay, okay. So is the rain important or is the hamburger important in this sentence? What's important? What's doing the action mostly? The hamburger. The hamburger. Everyone go like this. What kind of hamburger would fall on the lion's head? What kind of hamburger would fall on the lion's head? What do you want to describe when it plopped on his head? What kind of hamburger was it? Tell the person next to you. Come up with some ideas. Okay, I heard some people go, a big fat hamburger, a juicy hamburger. If I hear that, I see the size of it and I see all this stuff coming down on his face. Juicy Love that. Hamburger. You want to say that? Juicy. Okay. Juicy Let's put juicy next to it just so that we can get that idea. Shall we say the size? No. Yes. What size would it be? Say it again. Ginormous. Love it. Okay, my friends, let's go back and read the whole thing. Look how fast people write in this class. So impressive. Hands in the air. Let's do our rain. Go. A rainy day out in the city. Silly line. Oh, check what I say, silly line? Yes. Who was do, doing the action? Hamburger. hamburger. So you know what? Let's make sure. Let's circle our hamburger. And let's really look at it and say that hamburger is doing the action. It's acting like the character. So circle it. That's what we're going to do first. All right, let's go back and do it again. Ready, set, go. Out the city. Out the city. Head. Turn to your buddy and say the whole thing. Go. Oh, by the way, can you say it a little differently? No. Yes. Yeah. Uh, you don't have to memorize this. You're just looking at the ideas to come up with your sentence. Ready? Go. On a rainy day, out in the city, You can still say dropped. Dropped on a... Love it. Isn't that, listen to what she just said. Imagine that. Plop, everyone show me plop. Cool. Look at drop. Like, if it dropped, do you think he even knew what happened? No. Look at that word. Just drop on a head. Love it. Everyone go, love it. Love it. All right, my friends. That is our story opening. Everyone say, story opening. Story opening. Story opening. Done. Done. Now, where are we heading? Actions, actions, actions. All right, let's make an action box. See how you made this action box? This um, story opening box, it's about the same width, so just make a line across. Now everyone go like this. Where are we right now? The hamburger did what? Okay, touch your shoulders. Go like this, say, what happened next? What happened next? After the hamburger plopped on the lion's head. He got the now, turn to your buddy and tell them. Go. He got knocked out. He got knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's stop. That's all I have to say to this group is stop and you just look up here. And with beautiful smiles. I'm so lucky. All right, my friend, what happened next? <laughs> what happened to the lion? Now hold on a minute because I'm going to do something. Do you feel like you have a good idea or do you want to make it even more interesting? 
Oh, you have a good idea? Go for it. So the lion, it flopped on his head, and then he... Let's put the picture there. Okay, now watch what I'm going to do. My picture goes here. Everyone go like this. Say, ideas first. Ideas first. I'm not making the sentence yet. I'm just doing the ideas. So, what should I draw a picture of here? It's that easy, right? Okay, so let's put like a big mouth. The lion, here's his tongue. He's got the hamburger there, right? There he is. That's my lion. Kind of scary, isn't it? <laughs> but we're doing it fast. Everyone go, it's a fast sketch. We're not doing art. Love how fast people are doing this. Okay, so who's doing the action here? Lion. A lion. Uh-oh, I said lion up here in this sentence. Put your hand up. Woo, woo, woo. Redundant, please, redundant, please. Good writers don't keep saying the same important words. Lion, lion. My lion's going to be a boy. What other word could I use? Good. It or she or he? He. he. It's going to be a boy. Yeah. So here's mine. All right, let's make it a girl. She. <laughs> I can gobble a burger. <laughs> I can gobble Write your she there. All right, she. What did she do? Gobble she the burger. Gobble. Gobble down. The burger. Oh, I said burger up here, though. What's another way? She ate taco. Yeah. She ate taco. Ice cream. Ice what? Oh, but is, can I change the food though? Would that make sense? No. So I have to stick. What's another word for burger? Uh, hamburger. 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 Cheeseburger. Hamburger. Cheeseburger. Oh, well, did you say hamburger here? Yes. So could we say hamburger burger here? Yeah. Okay, let's do that. Everyone say it. Say, she gobbled down the burger. She gobbled down the burger. As fast as what? How quickly did she do it? Four seconds. Four seconds. Four seconds. What would be something in the city that you would see that would do something fast? As fast as a race car. Okay, let's do it. Okay, let's put that. Let's put like a little sports car there. Okay, my friends, let's do it one more time. Put your rain up and let's do it. Ready? Go. On a rainy day, out of the city. I'm not even saying anything. Dropped on a silly lion's head. Ready, everybody? She gobbled down the burger as fast as a racing car. And as fast as a what, though? Uh, this is for a speeding race car. Now, hold on a minute. Let's put a line here to make it a little bit smoother. Let's add a transition. How did she eat the hamburger? Slowly or quickly? Quickly. Let's add quickly here. Let's say how. Let's make our transition a how transition. Quickly, she gobbled down the burger as fast as a racing car. Zooming car. Racing car. I don't know. Speedy car. Ooh, I love it. Look how you're coming up with different ways. We're going to practice one time and then you're going to say it with your buddies. And can you use other words? Yes, my friend already showed us that. Ready, set, go. On a rainy day. Nice and fast. Let's do it. Ready, go. On a rainy day, out of the city, Turn to your buddy and say the whole thing. Go. Okay. Turn around to me. Everybody, are we finished with that? Yes. Okay, let's everyone go like this. Say, what happened next? What happened next? After she ate the burger. Now, that was an action here. Do we want to have a reaction? No. How about yeah. she says something or thinks something? Oh, yeah. She thinks. 
Put a line for your thinking. Now, let's do our little part here. You're going to put, let's make our, our little, in our thinking box right here, you're going to put a line with a comma. A comma is a pause. So you're going to put a comma. And then we're going to put our little thinking bubble here. Just like that. Okay. She is silly, right? Remember? Yeah. So what is she saying in her head? After she, now be the silly lion. Ready, everyone? Walk in the city. I mean, you're silly if you're walking in the city anyway, if you're a lion, right? <laughs> Walk in the city. Yeah. And then, hamburger pops on your head. And then, gobbles it down, right? And then what's she going to think? <gasps> Tell your buddy, go. What's she going to think? I hear, oh, I'm in heaven. I hear, wow, this is better than fast food. Wow, this is good. I hear lots of good stuff. This is yummy. I love it. Okay, everybody stop. We've got it right here. She thought, oh, I hope this doesn't make me as fat as a hippo. <laughs> she thinking it? She. Okay. And I already said she, so now what would I say? Would I say she or the lion? Can I change it or is she always a she? Yeah. But I said she here, so what could I use? The lion. Okay, so let's put it here. Put the lion thought. And now we're going to practice this. Are you ready? Again, look how quickly people are writing that down. Do you see how quickly you're writing that down? Love it. The lion thought. <laughs> All right, my friends, are we ready? The lion thought. So when you are a writer, you're letting the reader know who's doing the thinking, correct? Uh -huh. But in the reader's head, when she's speaking, is the reader going, the lion thought, is that what the lion's doing, or is the lion just thinking the word? Thinking. Yes. So everyone, stand up, put your hands on your side. We're going to be the writer, and we're going to be the book. Everyone go like this. Go, the lion thought. The lion thought. Now put your quotation mark up. I hope this doesn't make me look like a hippo. Close quotation mark. Everyone go like this, go quotation marks. They go around the talking part. Now is she talking out loud or in her head? Okay, let's do it again, ready? Be the words, the lion thought. The lion thought. Okay, let's add the comma, because you know how you were saying the comma? Okay, do it again, go. The lion thought. And then this is what you do for a comma. Okay, let's do it again. Go. The lion thought. Put your quotation mark. I hope I don't get as fat as a hippo. Turn to your buddy and see if you can do the diet, the thinking part in your head. Go. The lion thought. I hope this doesn't make me as fat as a hippo. All right, take a seat. All right, guys, look up here. Ready? The lion thought. I know, I know. The lion thought. Okay, what do I need here to start the thoughts? Quotation, Quotation marks. marks. You're going to make those two little bent lines like that. Just do really quickly two little bent lines. Now what am I going to write there? Now, do I need to write the whole thing out? Say no. No. I'm just going to put I hope. And then I'll just put like a hippo there. Just like that. I hope. And when, I, when you actually write it, you should be a teacher. I love it. When you actually write it, are you going to write I hope hippo or are you going to put the words in? You're going to put the words in. Everyone look at our friend over and go, teacher. 
Smarty pants. All right. All right. Ready, guys? Go. I hope this doesn't make me look like a hippo. What's going to go at the end? Period. And then what? Quotation marks. Okay. Now, I want you to, can I show with you two right here? Sure. Push your paper. You are the nicest person. Push your paper in. And I want you to touch where the quotation marks are. Everyone go like this, say, quotation marks. Quotation marks. And then I want you to tell your buddy to show you where's your starting and ending quotation marks. Say, do you have your quotation marks? Prove it. Show me and make them point to them. Go. Prove it. Show me. I love it. I love it. Make sure your buddy has them. Starting and end. Oh, and then I hear good job. Wow. Good job. I love it. Do you have those starting and ending? Show me your starting. Tell them to show you. Say, show me your ending marks. Ask them. Say, where's your ending marks? Oh my gosh. Look at this group. Fixing it on their own. Say, go ahead and ask them. Do you have your starting and ending? Make them point to it. Ending. And then what does he have? Point to your starting marks. Quotation marks. Yep. And then ask them, do you have your ending marks? See what you do. Everybody's acting like teachers now. All right, my friends. Eyes up here. Let's go back and let's read it. Ready, everyone? Go. On a rainy day. Silly my head. Say it faster. Ready? Go quickly. Oh, oh, okay. Go ahead. Do it on your own. Go. On a The lion thought. All right, everybody. What happened? All right, let's go ahead and let's do one more action. Are you ready? Yeah. Everyone go like this. Say, what happened next? What happened next? After she thought she might get back. Turn to your buddy and tell them. What do you think she did? What? Go. <laughs> Okay, my friends. What'd you come up with? What'd she do? What'd she do? She ate it and it was and it was juicy and it was fat and she and she was large and she ate it and she got fat. So so let's let me ask you this. Go like this. She thought, oh no, I ate a burger. I hope I don't get fat. Right? Go, what happened next? What would she do if she thought, oh no, I hope I won't get fat? Do you want to make it interesting? Let's have you pick a card. <gasps> Uh-oh. Something got her scared or worried. So she thought, oh no, I hope this doesn't get me fat. What'd she get worried about? What did she do that made her worry? Did she go and eat another burger? Would that worry her? I'm so worried I'm going to eat another burger. Or did she go and run 20 miles? Did she go and exercise? What did she go do? Exercise. What do you want her to do? What do you want her to do? Do you want her to go eat another burger or go exercise? Because she's what? Is she a silly lion? Because she's silly? Okay, ready? Let's go ahead. Would that make her worried then? Like, I'm so worried. What am I going to do? I'm going to eat a burger again. You ever see anyone do that when they get worried? They go eat? Yeah. But this time, instead of a burger, what could she have? Take a line. Have your, have your, you want her to eat a taco? Yeah. All right, put a taco up there. And have that worried face. I'm so worried, I think I need to eat a taco. That sounds like a, like a silly line, doesn't it? Everyone look at our friend and say, great idea. Great, great idea, idea, man. All right. OK, did she do this right away, or was she thinking for a while? Thinking a while. OK, so let's do that and say, after a while, after let's put our little transition there. And what's after our transition? A. Mama. 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 Everyone say it. Ready, go. After a while. Who is she? She what? Nervous. She was so? Hungry. Hungry. To eat a taco. What was she feeling? 
scared and worried. She was so worried about eating a taco. What was she worried about? Eating another eating burger. Eating about eating, eating about eating getting fat that, that she yeah, How many tacos do you want her to eat? 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. 20. Burger as fast as a zooming car. The lion thought, I hope I don't get as fat as a little. After a while, she was so worried, she ate twenty tacos. We're gonna say the story is done. done. So we need to have a done. secret formula. Secret formula. Let's go here and we're gonna put T C R. What are we gonna put? T C R. Look how everybody has that in their hand. They have that T C R in their paper right away. I love it. Fast. All right. Everyone, look at me and say, what does that mean? What does that mean? That means T is for transition. Everyone, go transition. Transition. And now you're gonna go like this. Transition. Those are words that smoothly move you from one sentence to the next sentence. What do they do? Smoothly move you from one sentence to the next sentence. And these are transitions for the end of the story. So listen carefully. We could say, in the end, forever after, from that moment on. Turn to your buddy. How do you want to end the story? With what type of transition? We could do that, but I want to show you the the, the sentence ending. Are you okay? Because I bet you that you like to write. Because you're probably like, I'm going to keep writing this story. We're going to have that one. So tell me, in the end, forever after, or from that day on? From that day on. From that day on. Ready, guys? Go over to your tea. Could you write forever after? Yeah. Could you write in the end if you want to do that one? Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to just put from that day on. From that day on. Everyone, who's the character that we're talking about? The lion. The lion. So C is for character. You put a lion Nope. Okay, everybody, say from that day on. Ready, go. From that day on, the lion. Everyone go R. That's for reflection. Everyone go like this, go reflection. The lion is going to reflect back on what happened to her and tell you what she, and everyone go like this, learned. So go look to your brain and say what she learned. Put a heart and say what she felt. What she or put bubbles up here and say, or what she wished. Or what she wished. Okay, so watch me. From that day on, the lion learned that rain can be fattening. <laughs> Ready? From that day on, the lion wished she could eat anything she wanted to. And she got. That sounds like me. <laughs> yeah. Woo! Let's do that. From that day on, the lion wished. She could get skinny again. <laughs> That's funny. Okay, ready? Go. From that, that day, day on, on, the lion. Wish. Wish. So we have a wish, we have a learned, and then what else? Thought. What would thought. she think? She thought. She thought. What'd she think? Thought. What? Go do exercise. Thought? I better go do some exercise. I better do exercise every day if it's raining burger top. Okay, turn to your buddy and tell them how are you going to end the story. From that day on, ready, go. From that day on, the lion. You want to say wish? Go. Wish what? Oh my gosh. Brilliant. Wished. And then what would she get? Two hands out, we need a who. I'm putting that up for mine. Wish, and I'm just going to do this. I don't need to write that all out, do I? No. I'm just going to say day 
And then I'm going to do this like arrows, like over again, just so that I can remember it. But I don't need to put all the words, because I'm only putting ideas. I'll write it out afterwards. This is my organizer. Do I need, do you need to say the day would happen all over again, or could you put your idea? Wish she could get skinny again. Could you put that idea? Yeah! Wish that more burgers would fall from the sky. Wish, turn to your buddy and tell them, what would you write for your ending? Go. And then write it on your paper. All right, write it on your paper, whatever you came up with for your ending. Instead of the day happened all over, what are you going to have? Do you happen to have color chalk, like red chalk? Or I sure do. Ooh. Okay, guys. We are going to practice saying it one time. Thank you. All right. So here we go. Are you ready? No. Let's practice it one time. Put your hand up. Go. On a rainy day out of the city, That she ate from that day on, the lion wished the day would start all over again. I love it. Okay, ready? Put your hands up. Everyone go like this. Say punctuation time. Punctuation time. All right. Now we are going to do something. I'm going to have I'm going to have you pick up your pencil and we're going to mark all the punctuation. So let's start first. Ready? On a rainy day. What was the first word? On. on. So I'm going to put on here and make sure. I'll put three lines under the O to make sure that's a capital. You put that there. Ooh, look how people are writing that down on their papers. See how they're writing that down? On a rainy day in the city. After the setting, on a rainy day in the city, that's going to need what after it? Everybody A, comma. So when you have a when and where in front of the sentence, what goes after it? Everyone say comma. Comma. Let's read it again. Ready? Go. On a rainy day out in the city. Okay, a silly lion ate a juicy burger that dropped on his head. But can I say he ate the burger here because she ate it here? So what dropped on her head? The hamburger. Okay, let's do it again. Ready? Go. On a rainy day, out in the city, a silly pup, juicy burger, dropped on a lion's head. What's at the end? Put your period. We're finished with our sentence. Let's go back to the beginning of this new sentence. What word am I starting with? Quickly. And what does it need? Huge. What does it need? Capital. Capital. <laughs> Ooh, quickly is my transition here that needs a comma. Look how you're putting that on your paper. Do you see how it's on your paper? Right there. See how a comma's on your paper right there? Wow. There it is. Quickly, she gobbled down the burger as fast as a race car. Race car. What do I put? Period. Look, look, the end of my sentence. What do I put? Period. Period. Go back to the beginning. What do I put here? The. What do I need? Oops. Capital. The lion thought, what do I need after that? Comma. Comma. Now what do I need? A Quotation marks. I already know you have that, huh? I is capital. What's at the end? I hope I don't get as fast as a hippo. What do I need here? Period. Put your period. And then quotation marks. After a while, what does the A need? Uh, oh, a. Capital. Capital. Make sure that's a capital. What's after the after a while? I have my transition there. What do I need? Comma. Comma. Really a comma. After. Oh, look at you. After a while, the lion was so uh -oh. worried. She ate. What do I need at the end? Period. Period. From that day on. Capital F. Oh, I love it. Capital F. Right away, people are doing it. What's after the on part? Period. 
Mama. Mama, because it's my transition. The lion wanted the day, yeah. oh. every day, to be like this. And then what's at the end? Period. Period. Love it. All right. Put your pencil down. Stand up. Push your chair in. We're going to do the capital dance. We're going to do the punctuation oh. dance. Here we go, my friends. Every time when we read, I'm going to point whenever it's a capital. Everyone go like this. Whenever it's a comma, go like this. Whenever it's a period, go like this. Are we ready? Go. <coughs> On a rainy day out in the city, a big, juicy hamburger. She gobbled down the burger as fast as a speedy car. The lion thought. Ready? Ooh, quotation marks. I hope this doesn't make me as bad as a himbo. Put your period. Give it to me. From that day on, the lion wanted every day to be just like this. All right, take a seat. Knee to knee. Turn to your buddy. Hold your writing in front of you. Look at your writing. And now you're going to read it to your buddy. And when I say stop, I want everyone to look up here for a minute. Watch me. When I say stop, you are going to start writing. This is what it looks like. Are you going to be making drawings? No. no. Put your line paper in front of you so you're going to be ready to write. <laughs> oh, no. Look how people are grabbing their line paper and putting it right in front of them. Do you see that? I love it. <laughs> that line paper. Make sure your scripts are right there. Ooh, I love how you put your line paper in front of you. See how your line paper's in front of you? You're putting it right in front of you. See how you're grabbing your paper and you're putting it in front of you? See that? Okay, are you ready, my friends? Yes. Watch this. Don't do it yet. Watch me. Okay? Watch me. This is what it's going to look like when you do this. Ooh, look how everyone's sitting up tall, looking right up here. On a rainy day in the city, a silly, ooh, no, on a rainy day in the city, a ginormous, juicy hamburger fell on a silly lion's head. Now, when I go to write, when I go to write, ooh, look how we're only doing what we do in school. On a rainy day, am I quiet or am I talking? Talking. You need to talk. On a rainy. Ooh, what if I'm not sure how to spell rainy? Watch me. Rain. I'm not sure. E. I know it doesn't look right. You know what you do? Circle it and keep going. Do not stop. If you don't know how to spell it, circle the word and keep going. But you need to circle it. Ooh, look how you're going to put that in your desk. Do you see that? Or it will be mine. You make a decision. There you go. All right, ready? Go. On a rainy. What word do I write? Day. All right. Turn to your buddy, and that's what I'm going to expect you to do. Ready, set, don't start writing. Turn to your buddy and read the paper. And I'll tell you if you're ready. If you can't say it, you can't write it. But if you can say it, then you can write it. Turn to your buddy, read your paper quickly. Go. On a rainy day, out in the city, the lion Uh, you know what? Just start writing. I see people already wanting to start writing. Go ahead. Start writing it out on a rainy day. I want to hear you talking, though. Can you talk with your buddy? Yes. Can you say this with your buddy? Yes. Ooh, people are looking at their organizers. They're looking at their organizers. I love it. They're reading it. What is your name? She is looking at her organizer. She went over here. She went, she was reading it, and then she went over here and started writing. That's what good writers do. That's what I'm looking for. I saw that too. I know. Keep going. Don't stop. Read over your organizer. Touch your organizer. What do you have? Anna. Now read what your words are. See how easy it is? Oh, I should hear you talking. You have it perfectly. Reading and writing. I love that. I love how you're talking and writing. This is great. I Keep going, 
Look at yours. Don't stop. Teachers, if you want to walk around and watch the kids and see it, if anyone gets stuck, the first thing you do is have them read the organizer and then go back and read their words. Go ahead and walk around and watch the kids. Feel free. Give us peace. Thank <laughs> you. 
y'all tell us how to show up. Not only just rating, she's adding words. She's like, on a rainy day in the big city, can we get rid of Yes, let me hear you talking right. Keep going. Don't stop. 